something strange happened when researchers at Korea University gave overweight adults a simple kitchen spice for 12 weeks. Their body fat dropped, their waist measurements shrank, the dangerous fat around their organs melted away. But here's what shocked the scientists. These people didn't change their diet, they didn't start exercising more, they just added one ingredient that most people throw away without thinking twice. Right now, there's probably a container of this in your kitchen. You might use it once a week, maybe less. Most people think it's completely pointless, just something that makes food taste slightly better. But published studies from major research institutions reveal something your doctor probably never told you. This ordinary spice activates specific genes in your body that stop new fat cells from forming. Not some extract, not a processed supplement, just the regular spice sitting on your shelf. And when scientists measured how many calories people burned after eating this spice, they found something even more remarkable. The metabolic boost lasted for hours, not minutes, hours. So why doesn't everyone know about this? Because nobody makes money when you solve your weight problems with a $3 bottle from the grocery store. Stay with me for the next few minutes. I'm going to show you peer-reviewed research, studies you can look up yourself, that explain exactly how this works. No hype, no exaggerations, just science that could change how you think about losing weight after 40. Because the truth is, your body already knows how to burn fat, it just needs the right signal to start doing it again. Before I reveal what this spice is, I need to ask you something. If this information helps you or someone you care about, could you do me a favor? Hit that like button so more people see this video. And if you're serious about understanding your health, subscribe to this channel. We're building a community of people who refuse to accept that weight gain is just part of getting older. Drop a comment telling me your biggest weight loss frustration. I read every single one. The spice I'm talking about is black pepper. Yes, the same black pepper on your dinner table. I know that sounds too simple, but listen to the research before you dismiss this. Inside black pepper is a compound called piperine. Scientists have published dozens of studies on piperine in journals like the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, Scientific Reports, and Physiology and Behavior. Here's what they found. Piperine directly interferes with genes that control fat cell creation. Specifically, it blocks proteins called PPAR gamma and LXR alpha. These proteins are like switches that tell your body to make new fat storage. When piperine blocks them, your body literally cannot create new fat storage. A study published in 2012 demonstrated this in laboratory models. When piperine was present, fat cell formation dropped significantly. The cells couldn't mature into full fat storing cells. But that's just the beginning. Research published in Scientific Reports in 2024 studied 60 patients with fatty liver disease, a condition directly linked to being overweight. After 12 weeks of piperine supplementation at just 5 mg per day, participants showed decreased liver enzymes, improved blood sugar control, reduced insulin resistance, and better cholesterol levels. Another study from 2020 examined mice on high-fat diets. The group receiving piperine showed significant reductions in body weight and visceral fat. That's the dangerous fat around your organs. Their fat cells actually got smaller. Now here's the comparison that matters to you. When you walk at a moderate pace for 30 minutes, your body burns approximately 150 to 200 calories. That's healthy. Walking is good for you. But piperine works differently. It increases your metabolic rate throughout the entire day. Research shows it activates thermogenesis, your body's heat production. When your body produces more heat, it burns more energy, even when you're sitting still. One study found that consuming thermogenic spices increased diet-induced energy expenditure. Your body has to work harder to process food when piperine is present, burning extra calories in the process. If you're over 35, you've noticed something frustrating. The same habits that kept you lean in your 20s don't work anymore. Your metabolism has slowed down. That's not your imagination. After age 40, your resting metabolic rate naturally decreases by 100 to 200 calories per day. For women going through or past menopause, hormonal changes make this even worse. Your body starts storing fat more easily, especially around your midsection. 
men experience similar issues. Testosterone levels decline, muscle mass decreases, belly fat accumulates no matter how carefully you eat or how much you walk. This is exactly why piperine becomes so valuable. Unlike caffeine-based supplements that make your heart race and disrupt your sleep, piperine works through completely different pathways. It activates receptors called TRVP1. Think of these like master switches. When activated, they tell your body to start burning stored energy instead of storing more. Research shows piperine does three specific things. First, it stops new fat cells from forming. That study I mentioned earlier showed piperine reduces the activity of fat-making proteins. Your body can't create new fat storage when these proteins are blocked. Second, it speeds up your metabolism through thermogenesis. Multiple studies using specialized equipment measured exactly how much energy people burned. The results showed increased oxygen use, elevated core body temperature, and higher total daily energy expenditure. Third, and this might matter most as you get older, piperine breaks down stored fat. Scientists call this lipolysis. Research published in 2020 found that piperine increased fat-breaking enzymes specifically in visceral fat tissue. That means it targets the dangerous belly fat surrounding your organs. But here's what most people miss. The amount of black pepper you casually sprinkle on your food isn't enough to get these benefits. Studies used specific doses, typically 5 to 20 milligrams of piperine per day. To put that in perspective, one quarter teaspoon of black pepper contains about 3 to 5 milligrams of piperine. You'd need roughly one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper throughout your entire day to reach therapeutic levels. Next, practical guidance. Here's where most people make costly mistakes. They buy pre-ground pepper that's been sitting in their cabinet for months or years. That won't work. Here's why. Piperine breaks down when exposed to light, heat, and oxygen. Studies analyzing store-bought black pepper found that pre-ground pepper loses up to 40% of its piperine content after just six months of storage. So the first thing you need to do is buy whole black peppercorns. Keep them in an airtight container away from light and heat. Buy a simple pepper grinder. Grind fresh pepper onto your meals. But timing and combination matter too. Piperine is fat-soluble, meaning you need to consume it with dietary fat for proper absorption. This is why adding freshly ground pepper to eggs, fatty fish, or meals cooked with olive oil works so well. Research also shows piperine has one additional benefit. It increases absorption of other beneficial compounds. A famous 1998 study published in Planta Medica found that piperine increased curcumin bioavailability by 2,000% in humans. That's not a typo. 20 times better absorption when curcumin and piperine are taken together. This explains why traditional cooking systems like Indian cuisine always combined turmeric with black pepper. They didn't understand the molecular biology, but they observed the enhanced effects over centuries. Here's a practical strategy based on research. Start your morning with freshly ground black pepper on your eggs or breakfast. The fat from eggs helps piperine absorption. Add black pepper to lunch and dinner. Combine it with other metabolism-supporting spices like cayenne pepper or ginger when possible. Studies suggest these compounds work together to amplify effects. Spread your intake throughout the day, rather than taking it all at once. Research shows sustained exposure produces better results than single large doses. Make sure you're also eating adequate protein. Protein has the highest thermic effect of all foods. Your body burns 20 to 30% of protein calories just digesting it. Combine high-protein meals with piperine for maximum metabolic benefit. Stay properly hydrated. Studies show that drinking water temporarily increases metabolic rate by 10 to 30% for about an hour. I want to be completely honest with you. Piperine isn't magic. You won't lose 30 pounds in 30 days. Anyone promising that is lying to you. What piperine does is support your body's natural fat-burning systems. It makes your existing healthy habits work more efficiently. Your walks become more effective. Your careful eating produces better results. Your metabolism gets the boost it desperately needs after years of slowing down. 
Think of it like tuning up your car's engine. You still need to drive the car, but now it runs better and uses fuel more efficiently. Here's what I want you to do right now. Go check your black pepper. If it's pre-ground and old, replace it. Buy quality whole peppercorns. Get a grinder. Start adding one teaspoon total throughout your day, split between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Give it eight to 12 weeks. That's how long research studies lasted. Track your measurements. Pay attention to how your clothes fit. Notice your energy levels. If this information made sense to you, type useful in the comments. I want to know if you're going to try this. And if you know someone struggling with stubborn weight gain, share this video. They need to hear this information. Your body wants to be healthy. Give it the tools it needs.